rules do you have to follow? Like what? Tell me one. Don't talk while you're eating. That's a good one. What other kind of rules? Do you have rules at your house or at school? What What do you have? Don't eat in your room. Do you try to eat in your room right there in Legoland? But he's really bad at being sneaky. Oh, and about brushing your teeth, too. <laughs> Not e eating in your room is yucky, Riley says. <laughs> what kind of rules do you have? Madeline, do you have any rules? Like at school, do they have rules at school? Like, like what? I bet you get in trouble for talking when it's... No eating in the hallway? We're stuck on eating. Do you get in trouble for talking when the teacher's trying to teach? Um, no. Never? Yeah. Austin, do you? No, do you? No, because you don't talk? Yeah, um, are you allowed to chew gum at church? At, at school, I mean? No. And one class, some kids are, so when I was with Pastor, yes, and. Oh, hmm, we weren't allowed to chew gum. Um, you said don't run in the hall. What other rules do you have? Don't eat in the hall. Don't eat in the hall. You have to eat in the cafeteria. You have trouble with eating rules, don't you? Yeah. I think that's because you like to eat everywhere. <laughs> Any other rules that anybody has? Like, do you get in trouble at home? Um, do your mom, yes. Does your mom ever say, don't hit your sister? Uh, don't fuss and fight? Do you notice that most of those rules are don't rules? Did you notice that? I want to tell you a rule that some people refer to as the golden rule that isn't a don't rule. It's a do rule. It's a do rule, and it is do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Do you know that rule? No. Say it with me. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Say it with us, church. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Do you want to be treated nicely? Yes. Then what does that mean you have to do? Treat other people nicely. Um, do you want people to share with you? Yes, then what does that mean you have to do? Share with other people. Do you want to be able to eat somewhere? Yeah. Then you should um, be able to eat with other people. Um, I'm just trying to make that fit. It, it, that was a stretch. Um, so the golden rule, the golden rule applies not just to kids, not just to students, but it applies to everybody because whose rule is it? Who said that rule? Jesus said it. Jesus said that. It was a part of the Sermon on the Plain or the Sermon on the Mount. It was a part of both of those. The golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Um, so I want you to practice that. And this doesn't have the golden rule written on it, but it is a golden coin. When you think about gold, what do you think about? What do you think about when you think about gold? The golden rule. The golden rule, yes. Good answer. Um, you think about riches. When you think about gold, you think about riches and wealth. Why is it called the golden rule? Because it is, it is the most important rule to follow. So I'm going to give everybody one of these golden coins. Golden coin for you. And it doesn't have the golden rule written on it, but I want you to use it to... John 3, 16 is yours. And it says, that's China. Made in China. <laughs> <laughs> it does say China, doesn't it? Right there next to John 3, 16. <laughs> For God so loved the world, even China. <laughs> or from China. C-H-I-N-A. That is China, you are right. <laughs> All right, so back to the golden rule. Your car is made in China? You will find that lots of things are made in China. Uh, actually, that bulletin was made in our church office. Okay, so let's uh, remember the golden rule one more time. Focus with me one more time. Do unto others. Church, do unto others. As you would have them. Do unto you. The most important.
important thing you have to remember. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Let's pray. Dear God, Dear God we, love you. we love you. Thank you for a do rule. Thank you for a do rule. Help us to do, Help us to do good things, good things. for you.